Gia went to work today, got off work a little early. I went to a brewery that I should have been to. I don't know how I've never been there. Wild Heaven. I went to Wild Heaven today. Um, most of my fellow beer reviewers have reviewed something from them. My guy Wayne, I just sent him a beer from them, the Big Energy. It's uh, I found out today at the brewery, a uh, nootropic is a uh, mind stimulant. So that beer has uh, Asahi, ginger, turmeric. It's got like all the good stuff to stimulate your brain. So it's supposed to give you mental stimulation. So that's the way it was described to me. Anyway, while I was there, cool ass brewery, man. Because most breweries, they have something on tap and whatever. And you might be able to get like a growler or something. No, it's not even a growler. Uh, it's a different name for it. But it's like a to-go beer they can give you from the tap. You know, these guys had canned beers all the all the flavors they've always had including the new ones i had this at farm burger farm burger is a chain in atlanta where it's different type of burgers and they serve beer with your burger and i saw this i bought this i love this then i saw brian the beer snob review this and i was upset because i was hoping to be the first to review this he was the first he's a badass he's a beer snob so he stays up on everything. Normally, I do, especially on this side of town because Wild Heaven is in Avondale. Avondale is right next to Stone Mountain is where I live. So for him to find it before me, I was kind of like, ah. All right, guys. So I already had this. I didn't review it because I was at Farm Burger. So this is my second time drinking it. First review on camera. Attack of the Killer Tomato. Look at that can art. Super badass. This is a smoked tomato saison, 6% alcohol. Belgian style saison brewed with smoked tomatoes and 100% river bend malt. I don't know what river bend malts are. I need to, cause I'm a beer guy. While we won't be brazing a can together in the blazing ATL summer heat, we still wanted y'all to enjoy a juicy tomato beer in honor of one of the best festivals around. Portion of the proceeds go to uh, Georgia Organics. I've heard of them. Let's get back into this. I remember being very surprised by this beer. When you, when you hear smoked tomato, like, you don't know what to expect, but I do know about Saisons, and Saisons are decadent. They're rich. They're, they're farmhouse ales. They usually have layers of flavor to them. So that's what I expected my first time having it. I was blown away by this. So I just had to share with you guys. <coughs> you just get burnt hickory. You don't really get tomatoes. Just burnt hickory, burnt oak, redwood, whatever type of wood they used. That's what I get. And that's about it. Cheers. This is so good. I'm going to give you an automatic pairing. A Capri salad. That's the first thing that comes to mind with this. Anybody knows about what a Capri salad is? I'll give you the quick layout. A huge basil leaf. A nice thin slice of fresh mozzarella. Tomato, but the tomato has salt and pepper. Some people do like lemon or garlic uh, chopped on there. Lemon juice or squeezed, garlic chopped. But that's how I've always did it. And then you can do balsamic glaze on top. That would pair excellent with this. This is an appetizer beer. This is a pregame. That's why it's 6%. Good pregame. See this color? Oof. So good. Desert Drinkers. Benji. My guy Benji. He usually likes what I like. He liked the Atomic Pumpkin after he saw my review. He stumbled upon it. I think you would like this, man. 
This is very different. You know, people like me and Benji from Desert Drinkers, we're very critical. We don't like a lot of stuff. We're kind of like a 6 out of 10. We're 6 out of 10 kind of guys. I know I am. If you give me 10 craft beers, I probably would like 5 or 6 of them. This is a standout. No cookie cutter. Tremendous. Tremendous. Layer. This is a Saison. So you get... You get the hops. Here comes a little bit of tomato, but not overwhelming like I just squirted ketchup in your beer. Or not overwhelming like I just gave you six sides of cocktail sauce for two pieces of fish. You know what I'm talking about. It's too much tomato. You know what I mean? This is right on the money, man. These guys took their time to make this. They wanted to make sure it wasn't too, too tangy. Because if you're going to make a tomato beer, you don't want it to taste like a chilada. Which, big ups to chilada drinkers. I have my places for them. I'm not an everyday chilada guy. I know guys that are. This is not like that, though. This is... I give this a thumbs up. I give this uh, 88 out of 100. For sure. It would get a 90 if it wasn't so expensive. I paid $15 for four singles. Uh, four pints. Not too thrilled about that because I'm still poor. But the character on this beer, God, this is a good one. From my hometown, that one next to my hometown, next door to me. All right, guys. Signing out. Cheers.